Flip the tachometer gauge face around and tape it to a flat surface with a few pieces of electrician's tape. Place the tachometer centering ring on top of the gauge face with the cables pointing down. Center the ring by aligning the LEDs so they most completely cover the slots in the face. Do not deform the ring unless it covers some of the numbers. Once you are satisfied that the ring is properly centered, glue the ring to the surface of the gauge face. Use just enough glue to do the job. Too much and it may bleed over the surface of the gauge face. Create a test device by taping two AA batteries together. Make sure that the flat end on one battery is touching the tabbed end on the other battery. Use a second piece of tape to make sure the batteries stay together. Then, tape a piece of thin wire to each end of the battery pack. If you have a voltmeter, test the voltage of the battery pack to make sure it is assembled properly. It should be approximately 2 to 3 volts. Test the LEDs by connecting the positive or tabbed end of the battery pack to the 2 LED wire on the gauge face. Insert the negative end of the battery pack into each of the terminals on the blue connector. The LEDs should light up as you insert the wire into the connector. Tape the speedometer gauge face to your working surface and place the speedometer centering ring on top of the gauge face with the cables pointing down. Center the ring by aligning the LEDs so they most completely cover the slots in the face. Do not deform the ring unless it covers some of the numbers. Once you are satisfied that the ring is properly centered, glue the ring to the surface of the gauge face. As you did with the tachometer LED ring, test the speedometer LED ring with your test device.